Hey, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'm showing you how to keep your Mac clear of clutter using Hazel 3 and a special inbox folder. This is my desktop, and as you can see, there is nothing on it. No saved images, no screenshots. The only thing is this lovely Tuts Plus background image. The story is the same with my downloads folder. Completely empty, completely clear, it's not filled with thousands of items like so many downloads folders. And this is all down to the Hazel workflow that I'm teaching in this tutorial. The first thing you have to do is set up an inbox. I've created an inbox folder in my user folder. It's on the same level as the documents folder, the downloads folder and Dropbox. I've then put in some subfolders that deal with the kind of files I handle on a day-to-day -day basis. Any of these that are saved to the desktop or so my downloads folder are going to get moved to the relevant folder in my inbox. This is where Hazel comes in. Hazel watches folders and then applies some rules to them. Here you can see some of the rules to the desktop. One of them is screenshot tidy. If I click in here, you can see that if a file contains the name screenshot, it's going to get moved to the at screens folder you saw a second ago. It will also get a red color label applied. So I'm going to take a screenshot of the Hazel window here with Command Shift 4. Then I push Space to screenshot the window. See the screenshot appears there. In a second, Hazel will process it. Move it to the Screens folder. I'd normally get a notification here, but I've got notifications turned off for this screencast, so you're not seeing all the emails I'm receiving. So if I jump back into the inbox, go into Screens, I take a lot of screenshots, as you can see. Scroll down to the last one there, 1649, just a minute ago. And here we can see that it's a screenshot of Hazel. If that had been a text file instead, it would have gone to the Documents folder. If it had been a different kind of image, it would have gone to the Images folder. And all the different kinds of files I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. These rules are applied to any files on the desktop or in my Downloads folder. Now, if that was it, there'd be a problem. All that would happen is the clutter from the desktop and from the downloads folder would get moved to my nice shiny inbox folder. So all these folders in the inbox folder have another series of rules applied to them. If we look at the apps folder here, you can see there's an install apps rule. If I double click in, you can see that if the date last modified isn't in the last week. So if I haven't accessed the file in the last week, gets moved to the Applications folder. For articles I'm writing, I have to download and try out a lot of apps, and I often don't want to install some of these utilities. But if I leave them in the Apps folder in my inbox for more than a week, they get dragged across. It sort of punishes me if I don't delete them on time. The same is true with audio. If I click in on Old Audio, if the date last modified isn't in the last two weeks, get moved to Music. With Images, it's a little different. In old images, if the date last modified is in the last two weeks, it gets moved to the pick archive and it's sorted into a subfolder which uses the year and the month. This means that I've got a dated archive. Any of these files will stick around in the inbox for long enough for me to deal with them if I need to. And if I don't deal with them, they're cleared out and sorted away somewhere that I can get to them if I want them and I don't lose them forever. Some things I automatically delete, like old archives. You can see that deleted, uh, delete old zips gets rid of any archive that hasn't been created in the last two weeks. There's no point having them stick around. For more information on how this whole system is set up, check out the tutorial below.